Joey Bradley, number seven. Well, originally I'm from Issaquah, Washington, which is right outside of Seattle. And i um, been playing American football abroad for going on eight years now. Played in college for five years before that, three different places. So moving every two years has kind of been my MO for the last 10 or 12 years. I play quarterback, and so my main task is to get playmakers the ball, make good decisions, and kind of control the game. Try not to get hit. Mm. I kind of have just like a specific warm-up routine that I like to do that kind of starts with some yoga and like mobility and a little like band stretching that I do. I have a playlist I normally listen to that's pretty specific throughout all of that. Um, during the game, no, not much. No, after the game, if it's a win. Nowadays, I like to celebrate a little bit more than I used to. I would say just overall my favorite thing about football is just the team aspect, especially from the offensive side. You kind of need all 11 guys to do their job at the same time, and it can a play can get screwed up if one guy doesn't do their job. And defense is similar, but some cases everyone can mess up on defense, and one guy does their job, and they can make it work. So I kind of like that accountability, camaraderie, ship, camarad, I don't know the word, Com being, a, being a teammate. Um, yeah. So far, yeah. I mean, it, it's uh, pretty much the same team as last year, minus a few of the imports. And I guess we got a couple new Finnish dudes also, which have been good additions. So you kind of never really know what you have until the first game. But I feel confident, and it's a, it's a good group. Um, well, I was playing in Czech Republic before I came here, and then the season got canceled there, and I did a lockdown there also for two months. And in that time, I started talking with Pekka. Although Pekka and I had talked previous seasons as well. And then he said, well, do you want to come here in January? And I said, yeah, I can rent a, a room in Czech Republic for another month. He's like, well, actually, let's just, just come now. And so it was a, a, like a blessing because that, that lockdown in Czech Republic was not very much fun. And then to come here after and get to do football and all that stuff was really nice. I, I also, I wanted to come back to Finland. I was supposed to play in Vasa in 2019. And then I ended up leaving the team like a week or two before the season started because multiple reasons. And so I really wanted to come back and play here because I felt like the league's one of the better ones. I'm a quarter finish and just like, it was in my heart that I wanted to play here. So no one else would really give me an opportunity here, I think because of what happened in Vasa and some of the reputation stuff that got said because of that. And luckily, um, I got a shot here. And me and Pekka hit it off well, and he didn't believe what was all being said about me, I guess. And I turned out to be an okay person, I guess. Mm, I mean, we have practice three times a week, sometimes four. And then I'd say I'm in the gym another, like, three times, three to four, two to four, depending on the week. I think it's weird. As I get older, it's like I'm not as focused on trying to lift as much weight. It's just much more about being mobile and, like, mobility and stretching and that kind of stuff where I don't feel like I need to lift and squat 300 pounds every other day like I used to when I was 25. So it's much more logical and like uh, focused kind of on what 
will help me perform better. Favorite player. Right now, my favorite player in the NFL is Gabe Davis. Because he's a receiver for the Bills. But it's because I am friends with him. And, like, know him personally. And we were working out together in Florida, like, three years ago. So I like him because I like it. You know, we're friends. Um, Quarterback-wise, I'd say either Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers. Just because they're... The best in their own regard. Tom Brady, I think, is the best ever from like a leader quarterback thing. And I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the most gifted and talented guys. And I really like Aaron Rodgers' like philosophy on life and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like I've gotten to the point now where I've played a lot of games and like making some of the throws. I feel like I'm throwing the ball probably the best of my life. Like I feel I'm in my prime pretty much. And it's just because of being comfortable and like not having to think about making a specific throw or being nervous about something where when I was 20, it was just throwing a a bubble route would be super nerve wracking. It should be easy. But now I've just done it so many times over the last 10 years that it I don't even have to really think about it. And that, like, I think there's the saying of putting 10,000 hours into something and you master it or whatever. And I don't know if I'm a master at quarterback or whatever, but I've probably put in 10,000 hours if I had to do the math. So it makes it easier from that standpoint. Well... After winning it the last two years for the team, and I was just a part of last year's, that's kind of always the expectation. I think if you interview any player on any team before the season, they should say to win the championship is the expectation. I think if you go into the season thinking you're not going to win it, something's wrong. Um, So... Winning the championship from a team perspective and then just continuing to get better kind of in my own way. Like I said, I feel I've progressed over the last few years and I'm playing some good football now. So just kind of stay on that upward path. I have a playlist called The Vibes that is a little bit of everything. I'd say predominantly rap and hip hop, but... Recently, the last year or two, I've kind of gotten into house and kind of techno-y kind of stuff. But then I also like one of my new or old new favorite songs is uh, by Jewel. Um, What the... Who Will Save Your Soul? So I kind of like a little... It's just whatever... I, I think there's a big... Uh, I believe in like vibrations, frequencies, that kind of stuff. And so I think music can really positively or negatively affect you. And so if you're listening to stuff that's sad and sad or angry or whatever, like naturally, then you're going to feel sad and angry. And so I don't like listen to new music very often because I feel I kind of know what gets me in my right mindset and my right vibe. So this vibe playlist has been I get one or two songs added to it every month, but it's the same since like five years or so. I make some really good wings. And I do like a sweet, mashed sweet potatoes, cheesy mashed sweet potatoes. I get a lot of compliments on that. Um... But I don't, I don't like eating out that much. I do like suit. If I'm going to eat out, I want to eat something that I can't make. I feel I've learned to cook pretty well over the last six or seven years. So sushi or like, I, I don't, I don't know how to make salmon. So I'd, I'd eat salmon if I like went out to a restaurant. But for the most part, I think I can handle it at home. Uh, Saturday, yeah, I mean, I haven't been home and seen my family in almost three years now. It'll be three years by the time I go back and see them. Uh, 
So just kind of missing out on their lives and other friends' lives that, you know, I'm grateful for what I get to do, but then you don't get to go to a wedding or something, or my cousins have two kids now that I've never met. Um, so there's the sacrament. And I guess it's been by choice to not be home for that long, to an extent. But, yeah, I'd say just from, like, missing out on people's lives, but that's just kind of how life is, where you have to make a choice of what you're going to do. And so, yeah, there's quite a few of my buddies now are get, I'm getting to the age where, like, getting married is the thing. And for most people, I don't really care if I miss the wedding, to be honest, but one of my good buddies back home got married last summer, and I didn't get to go. And I would have liked to gone to that. Um, and just like seeing mom and dad, that kind of stuff. I like, I, my favorite movie of that little thing is Into the Spideyverse. The cartoon Spider-Man one. That one's cool. But other than that, I don't know, I'm not a big TV movie watcher. This would be in that Batman, eh. I like the Joker better than I like Batman. I think I relate to the craziness. <laughs> Maybe once every four showers. I didn't this morning. <laughs> oh, these are terrible. Oh wait, is this a spicy one too? This one's not as bad as they normally are. Does this have like a little something inside of it? No, it's just hard, the whole... That one's not bad. The chewy one would be terrible. But this one... I, I could, I mean, I'm not going to buy these, but I, I could do one. When I moved here last year, Pekka gave me like a, he got me a couple groceries just so I didn't have to go the first day and in it was a bag of salmiaki and I was like oh I love gummy candy I messaged him I was like what the heck is this stuff this isn't bad at all